we're going to be examining the conservation of energy using this model of a roller coaster. It's simply a rubber track with three different size balls that we're going to be rolling down it. At this end, we have a photo gate which will be able to measure the final velocity of the balls as they pass through the gates. Now, we're going to be dropping the balls from a height of 0.8 meters. And as the ball rolls down the track, that potential energy is going to be converted into kinetic energy with all kinetic energy at the end of the run. When you work through the calculations, you get a final velocity of 3.34 meters per second. So what we're going to be doing is comparing our actual values for the velocity with our theoretical value and seeing how well energy is conserved in our model. So to begin, I'm going to roll the metal ball bearing down the track. So that provided us with a speed of 2.5 meters per second, significantly lower than our theoretical speed. Now I'm going to use the wooden ball. That provides us with a slightly faster 2.79 meters per second. Now finally with the plastic ball. And that also provided us with a speed of 2.79 meters per second. Still a little higher than the metal ball bearing, but lower than our theoretical value. So why the difference between the theoretical value of our velocity and our actual value of the velocity? Well, if you look back at our experiment with the balls, you'll notice that there are some places where you can lose energy. It may be rolling resistance, the fact that the rubber track exerts a frictional force on the ball and you lose some energy there. Or it could be air resistance and the fact that we're not traveling through a vacuum. Or if you actually look at the track as the ball is dropped, you notice that the track itself is shaking and flexes as the ball is dropped. Any number of these factors can contribute to the energy loss, which is causing us to not have full kinetic energy as we go through the photo gates at the end.